Hey, it's Asia here from HubSpot, and I'm really excited to show you AI Search Creator, which is the first free tool that helps brands understand how they're showing up in large language models, or LLMs, so they can optimize for AI search. And as more and more people turn to AI search for answers, we are giving marketers a quick, easy, and free way to see how their brands are being discussed without needing SEO, AI, or prompting knowledge, or hours of manual analysis. Let me show you how it works. First, I'm gonna enter the details of the brand I wanna analyze, which is HubSpot. I wanna see the results that we have for the US market. We offer free CRM, among other things, and we are a SaaS company. So I'm gonna click Grade My Brand. And in the background, AI Search Creator just ran all the queries my potential customers are likely using to research HubSpot and the free CRM space on AI chatbot. So I can see our holistic score here, which is 94, not too shabby. In fact, AI Search Creator says that's great. And this score is calculated based on brand sentiment and its share of voice. So let's dive deeper and look at how HubSpot is performing for each of those metrics. To access the full analysis, I just need to fill out this form. And here we go. We've got our brand sentiment score, which is 80 out of 80. And AI Search Creator is calculating this by analyzing the language used in AI responses about HubSpot and determining whether the overall feeling of each response is positive, neutral, or negative. So the score is gonna reflect the holistic sentiment of AI responses to queries about HubSpot. We can see here that 100% of responses about HubSpot are positive. Let's go a little deeper to see exactly what ChatGPT responses are saying. They are highlighting how user-friendly HubSpot is, its all-in-one platform, and the strength of HubSpot's customer support. And throughout, you can see quotes from ChatGPT responses, so we can understand exactly what those future customers are reading. Okay, but there's some stuff to work on too. Here's what HubSpot should consider addressing. Some responses mention cost, which at premium tiers can be less manageable for small businesses. And although basic features are user-friendly, some of the advanced functionality might have a steeper burden. Finally, that user friendliness that we talked about in the strength section might have a downside in that more sophisticated use cases or high degrees of customization might be harder to pull off. Now let's go through the share of voice analysis. This calculates how frequently your brands and competitors appear in the queries that your prospects and customers are using to research the space. We can see that HubSpot has a 10% share of voice, which is awesome. As uh, the tool is telling me here, then anything that's higher than zero is good because it means that AI search engines are recognizing your brand. The higher the share of voice, the more often your brand is coming up in AI search responses. If I scroll down, I can check out an in-depth analysis. We can see which terms HubSpot is often mentioned alongside versus competitors like Zoho and Freshworks. We can also see that HubSpot mentions tend to be more detailed than competitors and exactly how we're being described. This report is showing me that HubSpot often comes up first when users look for free CRM solutions, which I think means I should send this to my boss. Because AI Search Creator is completely free, I can run a new analysis looking at any different products that HubSpot offers, or I could even do an analysis of a competitor to see where they're doing well, where they're falling short, and what opportunities that might present for HubSpot. We think this tool is going to be a big part of helping marketers succeed in the new era of search. And if you give it a try, we would absolutely love to hear your thoughts.